Hello everyone and welcome to this commentary long play adventure in my better Minecraft world. We've recently built this beautiful greenhouse for our bees, our birds, our butterflies, and we even have a beekeeper and a little farmer to kind of take care of all of our crops and our little creatures and I love how this turned out. I think it's beautiful and adds such life to this area. Now, as for today, I wanna go adventuring to locate the stronghold and fight the dragon, which I've never done an uncut, unedited dragon fight before, so let's, let's see how this goes and how long it takes. But before we actually go to the stronghold, I do know that it is a Young's Better Stronghold mod that we have on our strongholds, which means this is a modded stronghold that we have to take over and, you know, navigate, which is a little bit scary. So we definitely need to prep some things. We need some food and just some general supplies to kind of help us get around. I also want to make sure I have some pillaring blocks for when we're actually fighting the dragon. I think that will be helpful. And we need to make some slow falling potions. So we'll probably need to stay up in the night just to be able to get some more phantom membranes to make those slow fall potions. But we might be good with three. I think as long as we use our redstone, we should be good. So we'll just make sure to grab a ton of redstone. And I think we have some of our blaze rods over in our house. So we can go over and grab some of those, start making some potions and then we will get moving over to the stronghold. I also want to get a carved pumpkin to wear so I don't have to worry about the Enderman coming after me. So that's one thing we're gonna make sure that we do. So we'll grab our pumpkin right here. There we go. And if we just take this, we can put it on our little head and I've added a mod that just kind of removes some of the pumpkin blur. So I'll put that in the description. That is a mod that I'm adding because I, I cannot handle having the pumpkin blur when I fight the dragon for this. But I think we have some, oh no, do we? Okay, I was gonna say, do we not have any blaze rods? Cause that would be a little bit, um, a little bit scary to not have those, but we also need to grab some glass bottles, which I think I, yes, I have all of my glass over here. I feel like three slow fall potions should be good. So maybe we won't stay up during the nights just because I should be fine, but we need some glass. Okay, oh, um, we, oh no, here's glass bottles. I was gonna say, we don't have glass. We just needed the bottles though. So let's grab some water from over here in this little pond here. And we already have too many, so we'll just pop these supplies in the side there. There we go. All right. Now, some of the potions, I can't exactly remember the recipes to, so I think if I just type in my little search fall bar here, if I do slow falling. All right, potion of slow falling. So if I click on this, it looks like an awkward potion and to get an awkward potion it's just another wart so it exactly describes what i need to do to make these which is perfect so we do the nether wart and then we do the phantom membrane and then we're gonna do the redstone dust oh the goblin traders can give us a longer one that's pretty neat but we're just going for the four minute ones because that's really all we can do all right, awkward potion. So now this should give us slow falling. If we've done this correctly, <laughs> we, we should get that in the end of it. Now I am curious if we do a strength potion. So let's see what's in a strength potion. We have an awkward potion and then blaze powder. Okay, that's simple enough. I think we can do that. <gasps> Look at this. Okay, we've got some slow fall. Now we'll just make this be longer, which will be great. 
I'm actually really excited to uh, try making some more of these potions. I don't always make potions when I'm like these extra potions. I usually only make slow fall as the potion I used to fight the dragon, but adding in some strength is always nice. So I'll put those in there and then let's grab two more. We'll make sure we get our strength potion. We make an awkward potion and then we put the blaze powder in there, which will be perfect. Now, once we have the slow fall potions and our strength potions, we already have the pumpkin helmet. I next want to grab some golden carrots for a more saturated good food source while we're in the end, especially if we're also going to be exploring a modded stronghold. I don't exactly know what to expect in that, but I think my best items to bring with me for a modded stronghold are just lots of pillaring blocks, extra wood on hand, and lots of uh, charcoal and coal to make sure that we have enough kind of torches. We can use the pillaring blocks or use them to block places off. We're going to bring a shield and probably, I think I have a backup shield in here. Okay, I do not, but we're going to make a backup shield just so that I'm a little bit safer. But we're, we're gonna, you know, get the things. And we do have some ender pearls, which we do need to change those around. So if I just go like so, I think we're gonna need to go grab more blaze rods in the nether. That will be part of our adventure. Not exactly exciting, but necessary for sure. All right, so now we've got eight minutes of strength. some flint and I think I can sleep through the night I'm not looking for additional slow fall potions to be made three should be enough ideally because we have the strength potion when we do oh hi buddy when we do actually get the dragon the strength potion should help us to get them uh, down lower much quicker but we do need flint, so I just need two. And then we make this guy right here. And then, let's see, we use some stone like so, and then was it like this? Opposite, there we go, waste stone. Wonderful, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. So now we have a spare waste stone. And I do not think I put blaze rods in here. Yeah, no blaze rods. So that is one thing we do have to go looking for. So uh, I think we'll make a spare shield. Actually, I might have a spare shield in here. Let's just check. <gasps> Ooh, we could bring... Oh, hi, buddy. How's it going? I was like, what is that noise? We could bring our honey crystal shield. That could be kind of a fun thing to use. I also don't want to end up accidentally like breaking the, it. So I think we'll just make a new shield. I think that'll just be a little bit safer. So we'll make a shield. We'll use some iron. And I've got some in my inventory. Just need one piece. And I think think it's just like so or like so backwards there we go okay so we've got an extra shield we've got a shield in our inventory we've got we don't need any more of the redstone dust 
Now I'm gonna put the rest of the coal in my backpack for now. I think that will be very helpful. I'm not bringing the planks. I think I don't really need to have the planks themselves. And for now, we're going to leave our little helmet on and put our pumpkin inside our chest. Now, as far as the other things in our inventory, we might find some other cool things in the the end so i'm going to just keep these capture cells and honestly if i get a little bit paranoid with a mob chasing me i can just grab it and they won't uh won't bother me anymore so i think that'll be also very nice i am bringing the glass bottles just because of the dragon's breath i think it could be really fun to be able to grab some of those now everything else i'm feeling good so we'll just put the the charcoal here and now we need to work on getting food. We need more golden carrots than just our 16. So uh, I feel like the main things I bring to a fight are I have an infinity bow, I've got the carved pumpkin, and I've got potions. And we've, we've got all of those, so I'm feeling good. Feeling good about that. We just need golden carrots and we need more blaze rods. Hello, little dude. How's it going? I will get you pumpkin pie just because I'm trying to level things up, okay? Also, these honey cocoons, I love how you can just like put things in them. So I already started doing that. I just think that's so cool. All right, what are you selling? Emeralds and melons, interesting. Okay, we're gonna do more pumpkins. How about that? <laughs> just all all of the pumpkins. You wanna, you wanna reset? I would love a good reset. Yeah, I don't have flax seeds. I don't have 15 flax seeds. I have five, okay? We just need you to... I'll take more avocados because I can make more avocado toast, okay? But you want to you wanna just reset? <gasps> yes, okay. All right, more. <laughs> I'm just taking all of the pumpkin pie. We just, we just live off of pumpkin pie here. Ooh, suspicious stew. Let's see what these give us. Okay, so the first one... Jump boost? <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of fun. I like that. Okay, that was the first one. Now, we'll wait till it wears off, so it's gone. And the second one is... Weakness for seven. Okay, so uh, the first one is good, the second one is not good. Hi, buddy. Hello. But that's still fun, so we can get a bunch of... Can I stack these? No, I cannot. But we can get jump boost. I like that. We like some jump boost. That's pretty sweet. Now, golden carrots. <gasps> yes, that's the trade, guys. Okay. Look at that. We got a bunch of golden carrots. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, I think... Yes. Hello. We've got golden carrots. Now, we do need to go into the nether. And so, we're just going to go and grab more blaze rods. What I need to have on my hand is just make sure we're a little bit more prepared. So we've got ender pearls. We can buy some from our cleric, so I'm not too concerned about that. I was kind of curious. If I go to our XP farm, I had I had thought at one point that they end up giving us blaze rods at some point in their leveling up journey. I wasn't positive about it, but I was fairly certain. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I thought that was, like, cool if that was the option, you know? Okay, 12 should be plenty. All right, and now... Uh, we go to the nether. Okay. All right, we're good. We're safe. Now, we're just going to... Be very careful. I'm gonna use some pillaring blocks. <sighs> okay. I don't like how there's just that guy right there either. Not a fan of that. Yes, you're right there. I see you. Hi, Toes. Hello, Toes. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness! Louise! 
is you're the oh my gosh you're another traitor hello buddy invisibility fire proc projectile <gasps> whoa for another an ingot oh my gosh wait oh my gosh they can give us more <gasps> those are so cool oh my goodness wait this says marcia as the cleric but you are clearly louise kind of funny or er, yeah you're just growling okay well i'm sorry buddy i have bigger things to worry about um not burning is one of them oh hi hello and goodbye okay Ooh, hi buddies okay so there's nothing really over here we're gonna block that off so this is the way that i need to actually go are you still in here oh hi i like how they have a little fire coming off of them that's very cute i like my way to like make this safer oh no i caught on fire don't mind me, Luis. Ooh, I caught fire again. Oh no. All right, we're just coming up here. We're grabbing blaze rods. Excuse me, excuse me. Coming through, coming through. Excuse me. I like how Luis is just following me no matter what. That's actually kind of funny. Not gonna lie. All right, so now we've got seven. How we doing, Luis? We doing all right? Um, I'm feeling a little toasty in here, but I think I'm doing okay, considering the circumstances. Watch out, Luis. I don't want you to get lit. I don't want you being toasty. Look out, Luis. Oh, that was a lot. Luis, look out! You're gonna get toasted. I already told you this. I already told you you're gonna get toasted. Luis, you're gonna get toasted. Luis is just confidently going over there. Did you see them? All right, all right, all right. Okay, I think we got some more. We got some more. Good, good, good. Me trying not to panic. Just, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, we've got nine. I think we'll get one more blaze rod and then we'll call it good. I'm glad I have these higher saturation foods now though, not gonna lie. Very convenient. Oh my goodness, Louise, did you? Louise, did you fall? Oh, hi. Owie, you just yeeted me. Did Louise just fall? Oh no, Louise. Oh. Okay, you're fine. Okay, I don't... Okay, I was a little bit sad for you for a moment there, buddy. Alright. Well, now we have enough blaze rods. Look at that. We got 11. Look at that. Okay. Alright. And we're going home. Enough s casual stress. It is very loud, though, my goodness. Let's see if I can turn this down. It's a little bit loud. I'm hoping that that will do the trick. We'll do it to 50. How about that? See if that makes it a little less crazy. Honestly, even though I did get lit on fire, I feel like we didn't lose that many hearts. Did you notice that? I felt like I was getting kind of toasted up, but uh, everything seemed fine. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that. We, we will take that as a win. Now, okay. Let's, let's review, okay? Review all of our items. So, we've got our pumpkin to wear. We have slow fall potions. 
We've got some strength potions. We've got all of our Eyes of Ender, which I'll bring down into my inventory. We're gonna go get some more golden carrots since we have some emeralds left. We've got spare ender pearls, pillaring blocks. We have lots of coal and wood for torches. We've got some flint and steel. We've got a waystone. I feel like we have everything. The only thing I really want to make sure that we make is um, a bucket or two, have some water buckets just on hand. So we'll see if I have any water buckets, you know? Not that I can make the water bucket clutches. Oh, I'm not, I'm not making, using the sugar water. But just having, you know, having it is all that I really need. Now, do I have bread in here? Oh, it's right there, okay. Now I think the avocado toast goes like so. Wait, wasn't it like so? Hello? How did I make my avocado toast? Let me type toast in again. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's two avocados. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I definitely had that wrong. Okay, good to know. Oh, I definitely put my avocados away. And then I put my bread away. Bread. Okay, so it goes like so. And then avocados like that. I like the idea of just having avocado toast. I don't know why. It's just so funny to me. So I'm, I'm going with it. All right. So I don't need a stone sword. So we're just going to let that despawn. And then let's grab our buckets. We'll put them inside our little backpack. And then I think we're ready to go looking for the stronghold. I'm a little nervous because I literally have no idea what to expect out of one of these. Um, yeah, a little, little scared, but let's, let's grab some last minute golden carrots. We have 10 emeralds left, so that won't get us a whole lot, but we can definitely get some. And then we're officially going on our adventure, which I'm very excited for. Okay, I barely got any. That's, that's fine. This is okay. Okay. Now, oh no, butterfly. No. Wait, 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 butterfly. Nope, nope, come here. Thank you. I'm so glad I have these little capture cells. Stay in here. Thank you very much. It is a bummer that they can still escape even with the trapdoors, but it also makes sense. Okay. Are we ready? Let's see. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Okay. We're going this way, which means we are going west, so like northwest, but we're going just northwest. So here we go. <sighs> Goodbye, my lovely little place. I hope that uh, everything is good. Villagers, I hope you take care of everything while I'm away. You know what? We could take Bia with us. That could be kind of fun. Hmm, maybe let's, let's take Bia. If we end up losing her along the way, we can always grab her. But let's take our little bee friend. I think that sounds like a fun little adventure. What do you think? And the lead. Oh, I got an egg. Bia, where's your, where's your lead? Oh, it's over here. Okay. All right. Oops. All right, Bia. Let's go north and west. So we're going on an adventure. <laughs> I love that we have Bia. Also, look at our greenhouse. It looks so pretty back there. I love it so much. Just beautiful. Okay, let's go, friend. Let's go adventuring. I'm curious how far we should go in between. So... We're going negatives on both cords, and I'm curious how far we're gonna have to go. I did get all of my tools also fixed up. Some of my tools were pretty low after doing our little greenhouse build, but I think we should be good to go now. We just get to make our way over, just slowly but surely, just flying along with Bia. Which I'm really glad we have her because we're able to just go over these giant ravines and just fly. So I'm a big fan of that. But I think what we'll do is we'll try to go... Let's see. 
We'll probably go to like 500 blocks, maybe 700, and then we'll go looking for another ender pearl eye to throw. This is just really peaceful and relaxing. And what's gonna be cool is we get to explore more of this area. Now, we're gonna go over our village and everything. So maybe the fortress is like somewhere in here. Who knows? I really have no idea, you know, what to expect, but it'll be cool. There's, there's some pillars and stuff. And honestly, because today is an adventure day, we might as well just see if there's any cool little uh, structures to stop at along the way. I'm already seeing this and one of these ominous things. And I think we have not been here yet. So I think it could be kind of cool to check it out. So we're gonna just see what we can find along the way. It is kind of fun. stronghold which the fact that the stronghold is modded does make me a little nervous and i don't hear any bad guys here so i think we should be okay i'm also gonna make sure we turn up some of the the, the mob sounds we'll maybe turn these up to 30 just so i can kind of hear everything and i'm also checking for any of the subtitles to tell me if there's anything Oh, it, look, it's just a little, like, lookout tower. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I think I've been here before. Hang on. Yeah, okay, I've been here before. This is a little village that's connected to our main village. This is our main village. Okay. Well, I don't think... <gasps> Whoa, no way. Oh my gosh, there's fireworks? <gasps> oh, that's so fun. A firework rocket. You know, I think this is a sign. We are going to get to celebrate defeating the Ender Dragon today, and we even have fireworks. A little white one, orange one, and red one. And we can kind of set these off when we uh, defeat the dragon today. I think that's kind of a fun little thing to do based off of, you know, finding spontaneous things. So oh, why not? And I want to go check out that kind of fiery thing. So BS, yeah, stay here. Sometimes I feel like there are some bad guys that can uh, kind of... If there's a spawner under here, I don't want Bia to get hurt by it. I just gotta find the thing now. Where's the smoke? Where's the flames and the smoke? I'm, I'm a little bit too... Uh... Wait, where is it? Oh, we, we, we definitely passed it. Okay. All right, go back towards this thing and go back here. There it is. All right. So here's... Oh, the deer. I was like, is there something here? So sometimes there's things on the sides, but usually it's just a little, little box and there's nothing in here. But I have actually dug these side bits out once and found something different so i'm always going to do that just in case even though most of the time it's not really going to get us much but i'd rather just you know check just in case but now that we've got some rockets that's kind of fun we can use that with our celebration of defeating the dragon all right bia off we go up into the sky and we need to make sure we're still going the right direction. So we need to go north and west. So we're still going this way. We're kind of riding off into the sunset together, which is kind of fun. Look at that. Just a girl and her bee riding off into the sunset. I think that's so, so fun. Also, I'm always curious if I'm going to like find new animals. Because if we find some really cute animals along our journey, we could definitely bring them back home. 
I think that would be a very, very fun. And what's also nice is we can also just like fly through the night because nothing can get us up here. As long as I don't hit shift and dismount, we should be fine. But we're definitely coming over the hill where we have our little village. This is our main village that we have. So we're just gonna keep going this way. We're going more north. And I've never really traveled much past the village. So we know this village and this is about as far as I've traveled. We did go a little bit over here to explore this cherry and we, well, I guess we teleported a little bit over here, but as far as exploring in between everything to see what we can discover, there are some little, little structures. So that'll be kind of fun to just see what we discover as we go. The, the adventure of it all is what makes it really fun. It's just going to take us quite a bit. But, oh. Just some pillars of ores. Interesting. I don't know if that should be exciting or a little bit nerve-wracking. If that's like a trap, you know? It's like by some form of structure that they have that for. Not exactly sure. They're kind of just chilling there too, which makes it seem weird. I think if there was actually a, uh, a diamond, I would for sure be more inclined to stop. But I think it's just like iron and I have an iron farm. So I don't really feel like we need to stop. So I think we're just going to keep going. But look at the, the sky. I love the galaxy. I think it's just so pretty. And everything's just quiet to quiet world into the evenings and look at this there's monsters and they can't even get me or see me it's wonderful there's some bees we just get to relax also look at our shadow <laughs> you can see our shadow right there right oh there's a witch Ooh, okay yep definitely don't dismount only use the the forward key don't use the shift and dismount that would be very very scary also i would ha have to do the same thing where i'm like pillaring up to go get her again and i don't really feel like doing that it's a lot of effort also this definitely seems like the type of place where we would find an ancient city under it because our base is kind of on top of just a bunch of these random mountains so it's definitely a place where we could find one. Um, I like how there's literally just like part of a tree. <laughs> it's not even like a full tree, like whatsoever. <gasps> Wait. Hello? Okay. I'm uh, getting distracted. This is true. But look it. There's like a little lantern there. But honestly, I want to go see what this is. It looks like there's two. Oh no, those are just the, the dark oak lanterns that they put in there. But I want to go investigate this tower. Little dark oak tower action. That sounds kind of cool. I do like the idea of just exploring as we go. I think it's fun. You know, we'll get to the stronghold. It'll be a good time. I'm excited. But I do just want to, you know, see what we, we find. It's kind of fun. Just to see. But look at this, it's so fun to just be able to take our little bee friend out. I love it. It's so good. I love her wings too. Just so cute. Okay. Now, let's see here. If I get ready to get off of Bia. I'm going to sleep right here, just so we don't have any mobs starting to spawn in our direct vicinity. I think that will be helpful. Okay, wool, copper, bread, more copper. Okay, okay. Let's hop on the next one. So there's lots of copper in here, which is kind of interesting. Alrighty. Oh, there's a little bed. Okay. Some bookshelves. Lots of barrels over here. Wool and copper. Kind of interesting to find a bunch of wool. A target block. Interesting. Okay. 
interesting blocks. And so far, nothing like super valuable. Oh, hey, brewing stand. That's neat. Let's see if there's anything up here. Oh, <gasps> whoa, the roof is so cool in here. <gasps> no way. We got a sentry armor trim. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. If we didn't stop here, we wouldn't have gotten an armor trim. That is so cool. What on earth? I'm I'm very happy about that. Okay, I think in the in the uh you know, just trying to not crowd my inventory. We are going to just head out and not grab anything else. I I do know that this place is here now. So we can definitely swing by in the future. And I think we'll do just that. Oh, yep, get away from the spider. That's super cool. Also, I love how on the dark oak trees, they just put lanterns. I think that's so pretty. But okay, if we just, you know, we're flying away, but we can just come back to this tower if we do care to get anything else from it. But I think for now, I just wanna keep, keep going north and west. So we're gonna keep traveling. And I'm curious what this red space is. It could be mushrooms, but it also looks like it could be something different, which is kind of cool. So we'll get to see if there's anything else around here. Probably won't be anything too fun. Or maybe... Oh, we already passed it. Oh, it's a lava pool. <laughs> nice. Lots of lava pools. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, I think... Is this that place that we stopped by? I'm finding all of these other places where I don't know if I've stopped by yet. But look at that. That's pretty cool. I think we have visited here before. I think we stopped by these structures. And one of these, I think this one, is one of those updated kind of like dungeons. I'm pretty sure there's a dungeon in that, so I'm not exploring that today. Also, I am aware that I have been ignoring the giant Japanese uh, structure by my house. The giant, just, I'm assuming it's just a pit full of spawners and just scary things. Oh yeah, that's definitely a dungeon. Those are like bone blocks, so this is a specific kind of scary uh modded i would say dungeon or catacombs but it is it is a modded structure so we're gonna pass on that today we're not gonna deal with that we're going north and west now i think i am curious oh it's a well just to see where if we throw another ender pearl i don't want to get like too far away you know so I think if we throw another one. Okay. We're going west. Okay, that's good. So let's go grab it quickly. Also, I think I heard a hamster. Hi, buddy. Hello. Do you want to go say hi to Bia? It's a pretty big bee, I know. Yeah. Do you like the, the pun and the name? I think it's pretty great. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Oh, look at them sitting! <laughs> That's so adorable. Alright, Bia, let's keep going. Oh, so cute. Okay, so we're going west. Luckily, we haven't broken one yet, so that's super helpful. It's also nice to know that uh, we're going the right direction. Also, I'm pretty sure that that's just a village that is run down. It could be a modded structure. It's hard to know sometimes. I kind of am just a little bit sus on all the structures because we're in modded. Yeah, like even just random little tree bits. It's like, hmm, I don't know about you. Now we just get to go up into the sky again. I love these giant tall peaks and everything. Like that is so cool. I'm also kind of curious if I do some free cam and we just, I'm curious to see the inside of this area. Cause if this is just like a super cool kind of valley or kind of like protected area on the inside, 
Oh, look at the little place. That is so cute. I wonder, will this show me? Yeah, okay, so this is moving according to where I am. So if anyone likes the idea of living in this tiny little spot, uh, these are the cords for it. Very cute, very fun. We've also got some some caves and stuff nearby. But I was just kind of curious, you know, what were we going to get? Now we're going to keep going west. West and exploring. I'm excited to fill out more of this map because we're going directly west, which we have not explored any of our map, really. We've gone all the way over here because we've gotten to this village that had our catacombs. And we also have the zombie dungeon that we go to over there so it's gonna be kind of fun to do some traveling this way and see what we find so westward bound we will continue but that uh that like japanese type structure by our house i do want to explore that i am just a little bit nervous that it's going to uh be a lot of just be getting stuck in a death loop because it seems like there's like wither skeletons that are fully decked out just like very intense, well-armored mobs that are hostile, which is not my vibe. But I think we have to explore it. You know, we explored the mushroom one, found some cool things in there. So we are going to do that. It's just a matter of uh, when. When we would do it. Oh, hey. Oh, look at they've got a little oceanographer. That's cute. Some more villages. There's no, like, blacksmiths, so we're just gonna keep going. Keep going west. And I think because we went and stopped at, like, 1100 blocks for the stronghold, we're gonna keep going for quite a ways, just to see what we can find. So it's gonna be just traveling through biomes. I wish Bio was faster. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that the more like honey we feed her, the faster they get and the stronger like our friendship level gets. There's something related to that that does make them faster. So I think I have to look into that because <laughs> even though it's nice to not need to be like jumping up and down all of these hills and just floating over them, it does just feel a little slow. Like I feel like if I just were running and it was flat, like I could run faster. And I could boat faster, but at the same time, like, I'm not exactly sure. Also, we're hitting, like, open ocean over here, it seems. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm actually, like, really excited. Like, we're, I, oh, unless, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> unless it's in open ocean, that would be unfortunate. But there's something there. We could check that out. It's probably just going to be another, like, golden sword. So I might just leave it alone. But we might have a stronghold in the water. Which sometimes it's pretty simple to access them, but other times it makes things more complicated. So we'll, uh, we'll kind of just see. These are definitely new chunks that we're unloading. Because <laughs> we're clearly just struggle bussing over there. You know, like we're we're slowly opening new chunks up but it is taking a bit <gasps> Ooh, this looks like it's another catacombs uh, or something a very weird bridge that doesn't really connect to anywhere maybe we'll see there's a little boat i bet there's a villager on this guy we can go check this out we're still going west so that's all that matters we just need to go west Ooh, another little structure. Very fun. I really think this is... Yeah, these are stairs. This is for sure some form of a scary dungeon. But let's just park Bia and go down. Park our little bee friend. <gasps> oh. Oh, there's snakes in this biome. Ew. Luckily, I know that if I leave them alone, they'll... If I don't touch them, they won't touch me. So that's good, but let's just see. I am curious. So if I just... Oh? Why? Oh, oh? 
okay. Um, um, hang on, hang on. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what's in here. <laughs> I'm just like going on all sorts of adventures in here. All right, make sure none of these are trapped. Step one. Okay, we've got wheat. More wheat and bread and bowls. Lots of mushrooms. Actually, the mushrooms could be good for making different potions. Ooh, this seems scary. This... Why is there a bass up there? Hello, buddy. Are you kind of struggling? Interesting, okay. There's emeralds. Fascinating. This is definitely some form of, like, grave. Okay, yep, definitely a grave. Comb cutter. None of those seem useful. Okay. Let's try to swim over here. I don't see anybody. Hello? No one's here. That's wonderful news. Oh, lanterns. Interesting. Well, nothing's in here that I currently want. So I th think we can just head out. That was just open ocean. Yeah, open ocean. Not needing any of that. Very interesting, though, that this is, like, here to begin with. Like, kind of strange, not gonna lie. Let's snooze in this very secretive area. Hopefully no one will see us. Hopefully we stay secretively secret. Nothing's, like, hiding in here, right? Nope. Okay, just going down. Nice. Oh, hi! Ow! Alright, and then if we look at the structure... I don't think there's anything else... Kind of an interesting, uh, structure itself, right? There we go, and we got you, so now we can go grab Bia. Let her know we found some more emeralds, in case we, we need that for whatever reason. But actually, I'll take more bread, you know? Having extra food is always nice. Alright, Bia. Sorry I'm a little bit, uh, soaking wet from swimming. But let's go check this next one out, then we'll continue on our westward adventure. I'm just very curious to explore this, because I feel like we can get decent goodies from these types of structures. And it's always fun to see other things being here. And like, look at this. We we opened up all of this. There's like, oh, whoa, a whole ship. Holy moly. <gasps> That's cool. Not our mission. We're not doing that today. We can mark it. We can do something different. But that's definitely an adventure to explore. I feel like it's kind of like a fun little adventure where if you want to play better Minecraft, but you don't exactly want to like explore everything, you can kind of just see how my adventures go and then decide what you think from there, right? I feel like that's like a lot safer. Is there anything over here on all of the other sides? Just right here. But if anyone is kind of curious to see how, you know, better Minecraft is, it's a good way to, you know, get the idea of how it goes. It's just seeing how I'm doing things and what I'm discovering. Okay, nothing. Here's some, here's a level with barrels. They really like their composters. I've seen a few of those. Okay, barrels here. Arrows, interesting, okay. And then we've got emeralds, and then we can keep going up. Ooh, a very overgrown spot. Fascinating. They've got like little like a little plant area, and then up here. <gasps> there was another waystone. Let's go. I will gladly take another waystone. Not that I like need to come back here, but it's just nice to have it. I do want to see what this place is too. And I'm going to put down some torches so I know I've been here. I feel like that's one of the best ways to go about things. Especially if you're kind of just 
exploring the world a lot and you're not exactly remembering everywhere that you visited, it just works really well to just put some torches down, make it a little bit easier. Now we can go over here and check this out. I like how I can ride Bia and I can eat some foods, also helpful. Oh, some black carpet. It almost looks like fire. It looks really pretty. Ooh, more golden carrots. Let's go. Nothing in the blast furnace. Ooh, there's some charcoal. Lovely. Okay, nothing else over here. I think I saw like a like a well. But there was nothing else, correct? Nothing in the well. Should we just scoop up a layer just in case? All right, I don't see anything. All right, let's go back to the house. And let's grab our little friend. And I always check around the perimeter. Sometimes they leave barrels and stuff. So it's kind of nice to just check in case. That already, let's, let's go, keep going. Let's keep going, friend. I am really curious about this giant ship. That looks like it'll be dangerous. This also reminds me of something that when I was in Castaway's SMP, there was a giant ship that had like drowned riding some like dolphins and just like crazy kind of scary mobs and just very OP skeletons. So definitely trying to avoid those for now. Oh, hey, do you see it? That's, a, that's what I was just talking about. Maybe we do a flyby. We'll do a quick little flyby. I like how this dude is just like, Welp, I'm about to get attacked by whatever's on this boat. But honestly, that looks like a very fun adventure. Not for today, though. Definitely not for today. Today, we are looking for a stronghold. Ooh, we can get the Sky Islands now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Bia, you're literally the best. My little bee friend. All right, let's, uh, there's a villager here. Let's go say hi to this poor soul. And then we'll do a flyby of around this ship. I, I'm, I think there's gonna be a lot of, uh, bad guys on that one. So we'll be careful. Oh gosh. Oh, I've, I don't know what I think about you. Are you just a, a whale? Is that all you are? Oh, you're kind of cute. Okay, maybe you ain't so bad. Hello, sir. I come to you riding a bee. <laughs> He's like, what the heck is this thing? Hi, dude. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hope I need to dismount Bia. <gasps> nope, stay. Thank you. Hi, dude. How's it going? I'm... Um, yep, yeah, just... I'm just checking, you know, seeing how things are going over here. You got some fish, so at least that's good. Some kelp. I think we can make sushi with the kelp, can't we? Innervation steals heat from your enemy. Interesting. Um, I will take the kelp, though, and I will take the emeralds. Those are the only things I really feel like I need right now. Um, I will put all of these other random things back. All right, well, uh, I hope you enjoy your, your the rest of your time out here, George. Nice to meet you. Um, have, an, have an avocado toast. You know, change up your diet a little bit. Oh my gosh, he took it. I didn't think you'd take it. I, I just expected you to only want, like, potatoes or something. All right, well, bye, George. Uh, see you later. <laughs> I don't want to get too close to this because I have a feeling they can hit me. Don't want to be hit out of the water and don't want them hitting be- Oh my gosh. Oh, <gasps> this looks terrifying. What are you holding? Oh my gosh, are those just rockets? Ooh, I don't like the look of those arrows. You do have- Uh, that is a very creepy flag. What on earth? <laughs> um, oh, oh, here, there's so many of them. Oh my goodness. So, so many. Hello? Is there like, oh my word. Oh, and there's a spawner. That's nice. That's, that's, we love that. Oh my goodness. There's so many. And there's like layers to this. 
Okay, okay, yep. That'll be an adventure for another day. But if anyone's curious, those are the cords for it. I'm, I'm not messing with those guys today. I could just pick them off, you know? But I don't want to. I'm, I'm not going to. We're going to keep going west. Yeah, look at on the mini map. There's so many pillagers just on that. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. You know, we have a mission. We have to find the stronghold. Then we have to find all of, you know, the places that are hiding the stronghold room itself. Ooh, looks like there's a diamond in there. Could be worth it. It's also on the bottom. Which then it would like drop into the water. Hmm. Well, okay, here's the idea. Okay. We're gonna go on this little island and we're gonna throw another render pearl. Cause I feel like that's a good this is a good little spot. You always sound like you're breaking your ankle. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, okay. It's back this way. Okay, we're getting close. This is exciting. Okay. Now, stay here, Bia. Stay nearby. Gotta go find this thing now. Um, F3B. Hitboxes. What are you? I'm not... Oops, definitely drowning. That's fine. Oh, there's the eye. I was like, was it really that close? Was it not? Okay. I got it. Okay, so it's back this way, which is kind of cool. Alright, F3B. Alrighty. So my guess is it's on this little shoreline. You sound so pretty. Whatever is doing the sparkles. Oh, look at you. Whoa, wait. Whoa, it's one of them. It's the Nemo fish. It's the scary Nemo fish. Oh my goodness. Also, these guys are pretty. That's so cool. They just make the prettiest sounds. All right, well, let's get to shore quickly. It's kind of cool that we were a little bit closer than I assumed we were. I'm just hoping that it's at least on land to make it easier. We'll see, though. It's nice to know that we're close. I was a little bit concerned we were just gonna, like, keep traveling, like, super, super far. <laughs> but this makes me feel better, you know? We, we were close when we were over here. Feels good about that. You know, we can check on... <laughs> we can check on George. <laughs> Who's just kind of chillin'. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's take a snooze. Make sure we don't have bad mobs around us. Now, let's do another ender pearl. Okay, so we're still going this way. We're going east. Okay, good to know. Alright, Bia. We're... I think we passed it. A bit ago. That is my one concern. But we'll get there. I think... When we're on... What if this thing right here was a part of the stronghold? Do you know how funny that would be? Like, I definitely would not recognize it just because it's modded, right? Like, this doesn't look like how a stronghold would look. Like, it's exposed at the surface, which I've never seen. Right, so that would be, like, the weird part of it all. So, hmm. Maybe on this rocky shoreline we'll try another one, and then if it comes back here, we know it's in between this area. So we'll just see on this rocky shore if we need to go back. It could also be under this giant, like, hill here. So we'll see if that's true or not. I'm glad that none of these have broken so far. We have kept all of our Ender Pearls alive. All of our Eyes of Ender have not broken on us, which is great. All right, and then let's come down here. All right. Oh, wow, it is still this way. Okay. 
Good to know. Okay, we... I should have... Oh. How long have you been following me for, sir? Um, I'm not going to risk you hurting George, so I'm not going to attack you. But have a good life down there. I'm going up into the air. I'm sure you wish you had a ride like mine that's cool. I would be terrified if you had a ride like mine and just had pillagers on bees. Just... <laughs> New fear unlocked. Not only are pillagers coming from the, the land, they're coming from the sky. Those ones were out on a boat, so they're coming from the sea. Like we Can I do this on Bia? Ooh, okay, we're going this way. Oh, I caught it, oh my gosh, I caught it on Bia, that's amazing. Okay, so we're going north, so maybe it's just like up on this hill here. Yeah, maybe it's like up here. That would be kind of cool, right? So if we go... Oh. Okay. Oh no. Ow. I pressed shift. Bia, can you come down, please? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. This is the, the not so fun things that I must do. I just need to, like, not press shift. Like, I just think shift is for lowering. Hi, Bia. Come here. Thank you, Bia. Like, I just imagine shift lowers things, right? Luckily, I can't really see through Bia, but I know I'm getting this tower down. Okay, I think I'm close enough to the ground where I can dismount and just clean up the rest of this mess that I made. <laughs> okay, now... My little bee friend. I think we need to go down in this valley. I feel like it's like right in these trees. This is my theory. So let's... Okay. <gasps> no, it broke. Okay, well, let's just go here. We've got it. Okay. Look at this. All right. Well, let's let's start digging. All right. But first, let's uh, let's move Bia. Make our little bee friend a little bit closer. Come here, friend. Hello. Hello, buddy. I'm literally so happy I have you. Except look at this. Let's look at our friendship, right? 178 out of 1,000. We've got so much potential. So much potential. I wonder how I can give her, like, even more. Is it, like, honey or buckets of honey that will make her love me even more, you know? That's what I'm curious to know. These are the things I'll be wanting to figure out. Nice. I got you exactly where you needed to be. Okay. So now, let's take some wood. We'll take a little crafting table. We've got extra eyes of ender, which is perfect. So now, we're just gonna quickly make some sticks, because I wanna make a fence post. And I think if I go like so, we've got a fence. We've got the lead, because Bia's gonna stay here. And I don't know why that's still happening with these guys. But then we'll take this crafting table with us. I don't need the gold helmet because we're done with another. And then we've got our wood. I think we're good to go. I'm very excited, also very nervous. 
Maybe we make a little chest out here too. That might be nice to have a little chest for things. So let's just make some extra. We'll make a ch double chest. We can have some things here. And we do have this extra waystone, a stone brick waystone. It's even a fancy different thing. Uh, let's do stronghold. Oh my gosh, my typing there. Stronghold entrance. Wow, that worked so well. Stronghold entrance. Okay, um, grass. I that there we go. We do have another waystone, so do not fret. We do have another one. I just want like an easy way to get back to all these other things that I'm gonna put in here, just for you know, temporary, temporarily put all these things in here. I think everything else will leave. We'll do this. We can put these things away. We've got our buckets. Okay. All right, Bia. I am going to fight the dragon. Once I find it, wish me luck. Um, I have the waystone, so even if I die, I can just teleport here right away. We've got an iron farm, so it should be relatively easy to kind of get our levels back so we can get over to this waystone. That's also why I decided to do the waystone, just so that I can, if I die, just make it back and I can keep my spawn at home for when I actually defeat the dragon. I guess it doesn't matter too much because we'll still need to take Bia home. So maybe, I think I have a bed. Let's just, let's just set the, the bed here. Okay, we have reset our spawn for this location. Can't take it back. We are sticking with it. And I just want to add some torches so that no bad guys are tempted to come down my little hole that I'm digging down. All right. I feel good about the amount of torches I spammed everywhere. And I'm also kind of procrastinating because it's a little bit scary. <laughs> but let's let's dig down, guys. We're just gonna go all the way down. And I'm gonna put torches in my offhand so that I can kind of do that as we go down. Okay, there's some mobs in here. Ow. 
Yep, you can just stay over there. Okay, and someone else is gonna come over here. Okay. I'm only on 50. <laughs> we have so far to go. Oh my gosh, this makes it scary. Alright, yeah, so much more to go. Okay. Yep. Spooky cave. Love it. Okay. I think we okay. There's a skeleton over there. Zombie over here. Nothing too crazy. I can just take them out. Did I hit them? That is kind of impressive that I'm hitting them from that far away. Oh. Alright. I don't think there's anything super interesting in here. Sometimes there's those little, like, urns. Which can have interesting little things. In theory, we would just keep going down like so. Which we don't want to go this way, so we go down the other way. We'll just keep going down this way. We'll slowly but surely. And then come here, come here. And then put that there. Now, I do need to do the gravel thing, the little gravel trick. And then we're gonna make some more torches, just because we're getting a little bit lower. So let me just convert these, and we'll just continue going. I think, you know, we can just enjoy some cave ASMR sounds while we get this done. Now, um, we have another cave. <laughs> a little bit scary coming across all these caves. Like, there's a spider there, so I know there's at least those dudes to watch out for. Okay. Well, I wanted those urns. Yep, nope, no, Not today, my friends. Oops. Ouch. Okay. It's okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. We just gotta be careful. Okay, over here. Torches. We'll take more of you. What are these? Raw. Some weird item. Raw cryo marble. Can we still touch these? 
fancy. Okay. <gasps> There's a witch. Oh no. I do see though the stronghold. So that's actually super nice. We're close then. Oh, you're right there. Hi. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Goodbye. No, thank you, ma'am. I don't even think she got me, which is great. All right. Well, I saw the stronghold. Did you guys see it? That room down there? I kind of just like quickly breezed over it just because I'm trying to not get attacked. Seeds, torches, ash. Don't need them. I don't need remains. But look at this. This is for sure the stronghold. Just kind of scary looking. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking we do. I do want to have just a, a normal stairway. So I think what I want to do is still make a somewhat normal staircase down. It'll look a little bit different since we're now like in an open cave. But now we can just make our way down. And we can also just take some more of our torches and light more of this up. So then I don't need to be as concerned about this cave. <gasps> oh, glow squid, noted. There's a lot of redstone in this cave, my goodness. Also, I just can't get over the ambient cave sounds. It's just so pretty. Oh, well, look at there, there's another glow squid. And a zombie head, interesting. Okay. <gasps> oh, hey buddy, how's it going? Who are you? Verlin? Verline? <laughs> oh, music discs? <gasps> Fun. I don't need any of your what you're asking for, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my dude, I don't need those things. I'm also just going to get rid of a ton of these extra things that I don't need anymore. I don't need the glowstone. We'll take you. Uh, hi, bud. Hello. Yes, good to see you. Or are you just checking over my things? Actually, would you give me glowstone? No, glowstone wasn't one of your traits. I'm sorry, I have nothing for you, Verline. I'm, I'm, I do apologize. Okay. Now... Let's see here. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go this way. Okay, so we could just kind of like fall down there. I think that's probably what we'll do. Let's just do that. I'm being a little bit too scary cat. A little bit too nervous, you know, being a little nervous Nelly. I've got pillaring blocks if anything wants to, you know, come for me. Okay, we're here. Oh, hi, bud. You made it down here too? Oh, I picked up the glow squid. Oh, bye. Okay. Well, let's just kind of block this off we can make kind of a little barrier here because once we're down here we can kind of use this as a <gasps> oh my goodness <gasps> I think I need my water um there we go okay how about that the water is going down Perfect. Okay, well, now that we're here, I do want to block this off so that nothing's going to try to come come down and, like, land on top of me. Not about that either. 
So I don't want anything to be able to see me, right? Like we're gonna we're gonna be safety. We're gonna be very safe about this all. I'm also just so unsure of what we're going to encounter in here. <sighs> okay, no time like the present, I guess, right? Let's let's find us a I spy. Oh my gosh, this place is giant. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. Alright. So far, so good. Okay, we're in. We're in, guys. Holy cow, this place is giant. Okay, let's just block some of these off for now, okay? Let me just take this all in. What on earth? This is so cool. Also, the geode. I can get more calcite. It's even more exciting. Man, look at these banners, though. We've got a dragon one. We've got a wither one. A nether portal one. That's so cool. <gasps> Oh, look at the creeper! You're kind of cute. I don't want you to get me. Hang on, though. <gasps> look at you being all, like, lush cavey. It's, it's kind of cute. I don't want you to attack me, but, like, kind of cute. Also, look at this. And we can see the stronghold room. <gasps> oh, the amethyst geodes. Oh, these are so cool. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of mobs on this layer, which is good. I'm glad for that. But let's just block off some of these. And there's also baby zombies that can come around here. And I'm not about that life. But it seems like the stronghold room could be actually right through here. So maybe we start this way. Okay. No baby zombies for me. Hello? So eerily quiet, kind of sketches me out. All right. Wow, it is so quiet in here. <laughs> oh, that's scary. There's like no mobs in here, which I mean, usually I'm a little bit like that does seem like good for me. But honestly, because this is modded, I'm like, where's the room where everyone's hiding? Like, hello? No one? No one yet? Oh, and there's deep dark here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> How exciting. Very, very exciting. I'm, I'm so excited for that. Okay, this just seems like somewhere we're not gonna go yet. So we'll keep that blocked for now. Okay. Stairway. Let's keep that blocked off for now. We'll put in a torch though, if we can. Okay, never mind, we can't. This is so eerily quiet. Also, what is. <gasps> is this supposed to be like a book? That's so cool if it's supposed to be a book. Very creative. I like that. Okay, up there. I'm like, there has to be mobs somewhere. Oh, hi, pot. That was very loud. Oh my goodness. Okay, interesting. So this seems like we're kind of like right above it. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay, um, block off that. Block off this. I like the idea of just being able to like, build one block up and kind of peep over. So this is where I've been. 
So we're kind of like getting to similar places, I guess. Hmm. Hi, bud. Hi, bud. <laughs> oh, there's more of you in there. Okay, let's make some more torches, shall we? Get those in our offhand. Also, I'm just gonna like spit out all of this extra stuff I won't need for now. I am very thankful that we have all these, uh, Ooh. Ooh. I don't think you bite very hard. Not bite. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hi, guys. Hello. I also saw a spawner, so I know I'm close to something else down that hallway. Ooh, okay. Well, luckily, we didn't lose a whole lot of health to that. I think us having some good armor was helpful. Not sure what that is. Not sure what that is at all, actually. Let's see. A silverfish spawner? Psh, break that, buddy. We don't need no silverfish spawning. This is a cool room, though. Also, this is literally like a glow squid like farm. Hello? Look at this, they're just like, they end up getting just, they just get, you know, a little trapped. That is a little sad though, I will admit. Alright, well we got rid of a silverfish spawner, so feeling good about that. We got some funny petrified lichen. Ooh, look at this, there's a shield. I could also have my shield in my um, offhand, you know, just to like, actually use it. Didn't really think about that, so there's that. Okay, we're getting this lit up. If we notice where we've been, we did kind of run away <laughs> from where we were, but I'm okay with that. Also, what on earth? Is this an ancient city? What is this thing? There's so many structures by each other. Holy moly. Look at the underground. Literally underground, there's so many cool things here. But this thing is giant. That's so cool. This also does kind of remind me of an ancient city, but it doesn't have all of the, the deep dark on it, so it's something different, which makes it very intriguing. Okay, things I don't need. Oh, hi. Little room. Interesting, okay. Got some, some goodies in here. If this is supposed to, like, help me, like, gear up. Ooh, I could throw these at them. That could be kind of funny. Alright, well, we'll put those away. And I don't need any of these things, so we'll put those away as well. Kind of cool. Nice little rooms. We can come back for the banners and everything. I'm not trying to look and use those yet. Okay, so we're on this side of the hallway. Okay. So we're getting these. We were kind of clearing out this whole side, which feels good. I'm glad that we've got this going for us. I do want to uh, keep that a little bit more contained. Now, this is the way to get to our, our little... Uh, a place. This is how we're getting to the stronghold room. At least I thought it was gonna be. I feel like we have to go down. 
Ooh, look at that one. That's fancy. I like these banners. These are so cool. Whoa. Maybe we go up. Oh, no, we definitely don't go up. And that's another reason we don't go up. It's literally a dead end, okay? So it's on this level. So that's what we have to figure out. So we've got this. We've got a staircase going up. I don't think there's anything. Well, there's these. This is a loop of a room. Nice, okay. You know, these strongholds always seemed like a maze, but this seems like even more of a maze than a normal maze. Also, I love how they did the ceiling. Also really like how they do the dragon heads here. Also RIP to the squid, but it is very nice to get some glow ink for different things. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of start breaking through walls because I don't think there's gonna be any other way that we're gonna get to where we need to go unless we're breaking through things, right? I think we have to go down. So we could go down that staircase that we had found. That might be a good way to do things. Okay, this is the main room, correct? So this could be our way to get down and explore things more. Let's see if this makes the stronghold room disappear. And before this guy tries to get me, which I do see them. I just don't see how they're supposed to get to me. I see him though. Hello, little dude. Yep. Oh, there's multiples of you. That's even more exciting. Love that. Okay, so there's some zombies coming over here. That's not a big deal, though. We can get rid of zombies. No big deal. It's just the babies that I get paranoid with. All right. Nothing in here. We're just lighting everything up because of my mini map. I can also see where I've gone if it's lit up. So I do like having it lit up. Hello. Oh, I got quiet again. Hello. Now the stronghold room is still on this level. I'm still seeing it. So I bet if we start heading this way, we could get somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to just remove these as we go. Okay, now let's go out here. And this is the way that we need to start going. Let's first do a layer around. Okay, we got these guys lit up now that I know what to expect. The skeletons cannot get me or make me afraid. Which does feel nice. Feels nice to know that I don't need to be afraid of them. Okay. Good, good, good. Ooh. Okay, I don't see anything down here. Oh, some deep dark. Okay, okay. Nothing too crazy. Okay, this isn't the way to get to the stronghold, so we're gonna go back up. I feel like we need to go down this way. I just want to make sure that, like, no one got bread. I just don't want anything to get to me. So it just feels good to put some general torches everywhere, you know? It's always very scary to just like start looking in your inventory when you're in a large space like this. 
I get a little bit nervous. Whoa. Oh my goodness, there's another portal in here? Whoa, this is like a loot room. This is so cool. Hello? Wait, was that diamond stuff? There's armor down here. That's so cool. Wow. Also, this being right there seems like there should be a book of sorts. Okay. This looks cool. No spawners? Nobody going to come and get me? No spawners at all? I don't see anything that looks trapped. There's just a lectern <laughs> with nothing to read. Fascinating. Well, I guess if you're like looking... Oh, a diamond. Nice. I guess if you're like kind of the type where you're like kind of just rushing into it without a lot of extra supplies, like being able to come here and get just like some iron, we've got some smithing tables, like you can get some good items in here. Like this is cool, I wish there was a book to read, but also the fact that there is a perfect portal, that is just so cool, I love that. Very happy about the diamond find, though. Like, we we run low on diamonds. Also, the other uh, project that we're going to do is... Oh, wait. Do I see diamonds? Hello, beautiful. Let me just quickly get distracted and grab some fortune. I, I still got one. <laughs> okay. Let's just see if there's any other diamonds hiding in this, shall we? There are! But like I was saying, so today we're just exploring the stronghold and we also are going to fight the dragon, but we are not going to go really exploring the end and all of that today. That is going to be for a different adventure and I hope you're excited to do that because I think it's going to be super fun. It will also be a little bit scary, you know, I have no idea what we're going to encounter in uh, the end but i do hear that the end in better minecraft is absolutely beautiful so it's gonna be so much fun but i am curious to see if we're gonna find any other diamonds kind of hiding in between the redstone and the lapis and the coal i mean getting extra lapis and resources like i'm all about i do need them i do really need them so this works great we just need to like have a chest nearby where we're going to be um, like going back up just so that I can kind of, you know, get, uh, get all of my things collected up again. But maybe, I mean, if there's iron in here, let's grab this. We can put that iron away. Nothing else we can really like transfer necessarily. We'll get rid of that. But I kind of... We'll just take this with us. We'll take a little chest. And then we're going to just leave all the other things we don't really need down here. We're going to go back up the staircase. And by the place that we came in is where we're going to kind of just set up... Oh, hi, buddy. Daphne, hi. You're cute. Oh, hey, look. I've got some gold for you. There you go. I've got some iron for you. There you go. Now, I don't have anything else that you'd want. Yes, that kind of works. Oh, sponge. That's pretty neat. Alright, so let's put this here. And I'm gonna just put that there. Okay. So, I'm gonna put my chest here of my stuff. Just because then I'll remember that this is where I put all these other items that I'm discovering. And then we can keep going and I'm not going to be too concerned about, you know, losing anything like that. Emeralds. Torches. Alright, okay, none of these things I really care about, so let's keep looking for the stronghold room. 
the goal with today is indeed finding the stronghold room. I want to end up fighting the dragon today. That is a part of today's fun things. Oh, this is definitely it. Also a little bit scary, so let's just light up along here quickly. Ooh. Whoa, look at it. Oh, there's slime and things? This is kind of neat. Is there anything on the top shelf? Can I, like, hop up and see? Whoa, there's just, like, maps and things. Okay, we're getting more... more goodies. Oh, we got a super. Okay. Mostly just like food, kind of like they're telling us like, yo, be prepared. <laughs> That's what I'm just imagining. Like, hey, like get make sure your stuff's together. Okay, we'll take some bread. We'll take some of those. Okay, now there should be another one underneath here. Oh, there's a saddle. Okay, we can put those in there. And then we'll take these. We'll take the coal, bread. I'm just taking the bread for extra food, honestly. Like that's really what I care about. We'll, we'll take these things. They seem kind of cool. Maybe we can use them. Could be kind of unique, right? I think there's a blue one. Which one had the blue one? You had the blue one. Okay, I think that's all that I can grab from these. Okay, now I just need to be careful with those. That feels very not safe. <laughs> not OSHA certified. All right, now this staircase definitely seems like the way to get down there. Maybe it's not though. It's really hard to tell. Oh. <gasps> oh. Why? Why can a warden... Why can a warden spawn here? Maybe that's why this place is so quiet? Hello? That is not... That is not fair. I just gotta say... What? Where are you? How does this... This can't be okay. Unfair. I need you to be gone. Where the heck are you? Please be gone. Absolutely terrifying. Where are you, wiggly worm? Really? Where are you? Are you just nowhere? Wiggly worm? Wiggly worm, where are you? Oh my gosh. So many wiggly worms. Oh, not a fan of that. No wiggly worms. I'm so glad that there's no screechers. I would have for sure set something off by now. But I just need to get rid of them for peace of mind. There were so many in this little, like, secret room. What on earth is happening? Oh my goodness, that was... that That's so fun. Yeah. Just, just what I love. Discovering. Okay, that's like a... I can't even get to that room. I can just come in the side here, maybe. Holy moly. I did not like that. That felt very heavy. Okay. Silverfish, be gone. Okay. Ooh, we finally made it, guys. Okay, and I'm glad I brought all of the Eyes of Ender that I did, because there's literally none in here. But let's check out this room. So this is the Young's Better Stronghold. This looks so cool. Holy cow. Let's just like, we can remove some of the torches, you know, get some, some ambience going in here. But look at this room. This is so cool. What the heck? I love that. 
Granted, it is a little scary. But, you know, we... We're fine. We, we made it. Okay. So. I'm just making sure that nothing else is gonna, like, come from any other places. Another brick fence. And then this is just the door that... Okay, we've got a bunch of... I don't like how those are there. It feels like it's, like, waiting for something to, like, come at me and, like, make it spread. But I feel good. We've got this safe, so I'm not as, like, concerned. Ooh, I kind of just walked into a very dark room. Cool. Okay. Well, nothing else is really, um... There's like a staircase here, but everything else seems pretty straightforward. I don't need to be too concerned. Some gold horse armor, nothing too crissy. Uh, some remains. <laughs> a little, little scary. Don't like that. Alright, well, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna first get rid of a bunch of these blocks that I don't need. Then we're gonna set up a small little chest place. And we're going to just have a little room for us to kind of stage as a safety room. We're just going to use this. Nothing is going to like be in here, but I just like it to be kind of a little bit more protected on the sides. And then let's put this here, put the waystone here, name this one the strong old room since we made it now we can go up to the top so we've got oh i don't even remember is this the top one yeah okay i'd never named this one um stronghold camp we'll just call it that this will be the one at the top now we've got some other things so we can put some other goodies away for now um I think, though, most everything else will probably end up keeping. I don't need all of this iron, I will say. I don't need... Well, I don't think I'll need bone blocks, but if we go adventuring at all, we'll keep that. I'm just trying to condense this as much as I can. Alright, how you doing, Bia? I hope you're doing good. Don't you worry, I'm I'm here, okay? I'm just going back down. I'll, I'll be back once I've... Uh, fought the dragon okay if you see well if, actually you would hear it if you hear a very very large sound okay just a giant sound it's because i killed the dragon okay so i'm i'm i'll be okay don't worry about me if you hear the noise okay we'll we'll be safe we'll be good okay this is final prep guys so we're going to swap out our helmet we're going to get a water bucket we're going to have some strength potions and falling. Now we're going to put on Izzy Pumpkin. I am curious to try these out, so I'm definitely going to bring those with us. That just sounds kind of fun. And we've got plenty of torches. We're putting our helmet back in here. I want to make a chest for some extra goodies. So we'll just go like so. Just to have a little little chest base camp thing, you know, set up. I think it's always good. Now, I don't need all this extra coal, so we're going to leave some of this. We'll leave this bucket. We've got all our pickaxes. We've got our slow falling, our axes. We won't need this. I will grab pillaring blocks right away. And I think think we'll be good with what we have we're bringing these in for a little celebration but they don't need to be in my main inventory we'll keep it clear i'm gonna put some of these golden apples in my inventory just in case we're not sleeping at all those can get removed we've got extra foods if we need it pillaring blocks the water bucket i don't think i'll use the axe we'll probably use the sword but sometimes this is better for the crit but I think we're pretty much ready to go. We've got our infinity bow. We've got our slow falling potions. We've got our food. I think we're ready. Alrighty. I don't need these in my offhand. 
Okay. Are we ready, guys? We're gonna put all of the eyes into the thing. Here we go. My first ever, no editing, no cut, dragon fight for you guys. You know, we're just gonna ignore the fact that I might die. It'll be fine. We're gonna make sure we don't have issues with the lava. That is also a, an important thing. No lava issues. Okay. Oh. Wait. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I needed died. Uh, not 12, so. That was, that was, uh, I just got you guys so excited. <laughs> Just to still not have enough because two of them broke. Oh, that is tragic. Okay. Well, you know. That, that's fine. We'll, uh, just get to go back up. I guess we, uh, we quickly go into the nether again. Because we still have, like, four, you know? So I'm not, like, too concerned. Um... That's just kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's pretty humorous. Okay, I think... Where did I put... Let's see. My stronghold camp, hello. Okay, I've got my little hat. Let's go back to the stronghold room. And I did get the little blaze rods. I figured I would just skip the part where we go back into the nether uh, because it's loud and it's a little bit chaotic. And funny enough, I accidentally hit the pause button. So I did just open the portal. So we do officially get to just go into the end room. So are we ready to go exploring? The end. I'm a little nervous, but we've got strength, slow fall, we've got a water bucket, we've got golden apples, we've got our bow, infinity, we've got this little guy, we've got all the things we'll need. So we're good to go. So now it's just hopping on in to the end, but I'm gonna remove my shield for now just to make sure that I'm able to uh, let you guys see everything what uh, in the end. So let's go right on in. I'm kind of nervous. I'm crouching. Okay, I'm crouching. Oh, I'm in like a little box. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, let's uh, let's just take a little look. See, <gasps> whoa. Oh, whoa, that's so cool. Um. Oh gosh, what is that noise? I'm gonna record because I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um. Was that a bell? Hello? Bell is resonating and ringing? Wait. There's some end crystals on fire. Um, hello? Hello? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to think about this. So there's a bunch of end crystals. They're all kind of just chilling in the middle. Okay, there's a bell. Okay. Interesting. So it looks like there's one in the center there, right? Okay. So it looks like this is the middle. Right? Um, I don't know what to think of this, though. This is a little bit scary. Um, let's use the efficiency. Oh, wait, the bells... Did they stop? Hello? They just... However close I get. I don't like that. I feel like I'm missing out. Like, I'm underground. Hello? Okay. Um. There's something happening. Ooh, okay, good. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. And then I'm just gonna mark that this was the, my way to get around. 
Just checking. Enderman. Yep. Okay. Hello? Um, Miss Dragon? <laughs> I don't even see you. <laughs> Where are you, Miss Dragon? Also, there's like different flavroid. Um, end ore, facilium. There's some cool things. Hello? Hello? Dude, this is so ominous. Ooh, hi, bud. This is... this is ominous. Hello? Hello? I don't know what to think about this. But I'm recording it so that if anything happens, we can kind of enjoy it together. Am I supposed to, like, just hit these? Wait, why can't I hit this? Hello? Are you, like, invisible? Bro, I'm going through this. <gasps> oh, what's happening? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, those are definitely the ones I'm supposed to get rid of. Whoa, this is so cool. That is so cool. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi, miss. Here you are. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Um, wow, that was so cool. Okay, hang on. We just need to take a moment to appreciate that. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. So these are like dragon scales or claws, kind of. Doesn't it kind of look like that? That's so cool. Wow. Okay, that was amazing. Holy moly. That was the coolest thing I've seen. And now I have to... Where do you perch? Do you... Oh, wait. Where do you perch? All right, we're just gonna watch her behavior, okay? Because this is modded, I there's a staircase here. My guess is that I climb this. Ow! Oh, you are right there, honey, aren't you? Hello. How do you perch? Okay, so we have to. We're figuring this out together, right? So she flies through that. Where does she perch, though? Okay, not gonna lie. I don't really see how me going up there is gonna be helpful. But let's see what happens if she perches. So it doesn't really seem like she perches. So that is something to note. But for now, we just... Let's uh, start getting some of these things, I guess. All right. Getting the first one. If I can even aim. I'm like nervous to get too close because I don't want her to come after my life. Okay. Where are you at, girly? Hello. Hello. Okay, alright, I'm moving. I'm going. I'm going. I know you don't like it. Oh! <gasps> Wait, that was like instant. Was I really that low? Hello? Hi. Hi. Hi, friends. Um. Oh, wait. I don't have a way to get, um... Mmm, okay, so I have 30 minutes to get my grave, right? That's how this works. It expires in 30 minutes, so I just realized I don't have a way to get back home because I need an XP point. So maybe what we should have done is, um, brought some of those XP bottles with us. That would have been a much safer idea. But let's just... There's coal over there, so maybe we just go for some resources. That might be probably the best way to do it. 
So let's just do this, make some sticks, make a crafting table, we'll sleep. So there's no- I don't want to deal with mobs because I don't have my armor on. Um, I'd rather just, you know, have my crafting table. So we can immediately just go to iron. Oh, okay, yeah, and if there's any bad mobs, we'll use that. And we'll just get this back, we'll leave this in here. We'll bring- we'll leave the crafting table, just because now I can just get those. Alright, I've got an apple for some foods, which is good. Now, let's go grab this coal. If there's any, like, mobs or anything... That could work. <gasps> oh gosh. I almost just yeeted down into a pit. Lovely. Alright. I think coal is our best bet, so I'm not going- I'm only going to take enough for us to get XP enough. Okay, we're almost there. Now, we've got one XP point, so now we can just go back into the, the end. We're going to take a pumpkin with us, and we're going to shear it so that I don't have any of those guys coming after me. I did think that was extremely fast for her to get me, but maybe she's more powerful, or maybe I just like was not paying attention. Could have been either, honestly. Could have been either or. But let's make some shears quick, and then we've got our pumpkin, shear it, our little bit of armor so that we're a little bit more protected. We'll leave all these things behind. We'll bring some cobblestone with us. And now we've got one XP point. So let's go to the stronghold room. Um, nothing else is gonna help us. So we'll just go in. Get our stoof back. Boop. Back in we go. Alright, Missy. I see that you have, um, you know, you're, I, that's fair. You're, you're protecting yourself. I get it. I totally understand. Except I don't like how you did this with my grave. I'm like in this. I'm like inside the the dragon breath. Why you be this way? Oh, literally? Okay, fine. No, don't get me- okay, I feel like her dragon's breath is real strong. I don't know if that's just me. Okay, alright. Now we gotta get this all sorted. We've got a bunch of arrows in here. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff. Let's reorganize, get everything all figured out. We've got an extra one of those. We've got our slow fall. We don't need these anymore. So let's get rid of this extra stuff in our inventory. Her with her dragon's breath. My goodness. She's really going for it. Okay. Now we're going to have this pick. We'll get rid of that one. We've got our bow, water bucket, slow fall, strength. I don't like your dragon's breath. Okay, this is like a lot harder than I assumed, but maybe this is the best bet. If I just pillar up super high. Getting them. Sorry, girly. I'm a sorry, girly. I mean, sorry, but not sorry, I guess, is more so what it is. Oh, I'm so close to this one. 
so close, a little bit higher up. Yes, got him. Okay, so I think it's just the caged ones now. Okay, so you do perch. This is good to know, you do perch. Okay. Now I'm gonna go this way. Hi, yes, you hurt me, hello. Okay. Now, all of these ones over here have cages. So I think the best bet is for me to just tower up. And we'll just try to get a little bit higher. I have two minutes left on slow fall. I'm gonna get knocked. Okay, I'm actually surprised I'm not getting knocked for being real here. Oh no, that was a mistake. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe we just collect up some endstone. We use Thane Miner. Collect up a bunch of endstone. And then we'll be able to pillar. We'll use this to pillar around. This will be a little bit better. Okay, look at that, so much. All right, all right, all right. We got this, we got this. You got this, Red. Take two on the jumping. We just put those in our offhand. Okay, dragon is perching over there. It sounds like it. Now she's going again. Oh, don't hit me. Oh my gosh, that was so close, miss. Miss, miss. You almost got me. That would have not been fun. Okay. Okay, I got that one. Then we jump up here, go for this next one. So at least I know she perches. That is good information to actually know and see. Because I didn't think she would perch. That was my other thing. Uh, there we go. I was going to stay a little bit further up and we can get there. Okay, that did not work at all. I was literally trying to press it the whole time. All right, go on the inside here, pillaring up. And we're at three. Okay, up we go. I think we have like two left. That is my assumption. Hi lady, hello. Okay, I think I just have one left, actually, now that I'm looking at this. I think it's just the one. <gasps> it's just the one. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh, okay. Slow falling, yep. Take the slow fall. Forgot about that, okay. All right, one left. I feel like being perched on the outside is the safest. Maybe it's just me. I also don't want to get yeeted into the void, so we're gonna come from up here. I have decided. This might mean that she hits me easier, but I would rather not get yeeted into the void. Actually, I'm gonna keep ender pearls on me, because if I do get yeeted into the void, at least I can use some of the uh, ender pearls to keep me from actually going into the into the void where we don't want to be. But we're almost done, guys. At first, I was like super nervous at first, honestly. I was very concerned. All right, now let's just do some drinking. 
Let's drink our strengths. Now I'm trying to figure out like how... Okay, so she perches there. Okay, so that's good to know that she perches there. Ooh, hi. Hi, buddy, hello. Kinda scary, you just go through them. Now, curious. If I come over here. I'm also gonna keep another strength on me. I don't want that in my offhand though. I don't know what happens with you perching or not. That's my, I like don't get that part. Let's see if we can get you though. My bow's probably gonna get pretty damaged this way. You wanna land, miss? I would love it. Oh, this seems like a perch. This seems like a perch. Except I don't really know if I'm gonna get yeeted or not. I feel like I'm gonna get yeeted. Ah, dang it. Yep. Hey, that's fun. Okay, so you are really hard to grab. So maybe what I do is we, let's try, press the wrong button there for a moment. Okay, here's what's n kind of scary to me. I don't really have m many, uh, I have one slow fall potion left. Right? So that does make me feel a little bit nervous. But let's try this again. Maybe I just need to like kind of be near this. Where'd you go? Hi, you. Hello, come here. Um, we're slowly getting you. I don't have, I have one more slow fall, so we'll keep that in my hot bar. Okay. Oh, you are loud, lady. Oh no. Okay, so let me investigate you. So your wings are right there. Miss, miss, you are so loud, miss. You are so, so loud. We're going to turn you down just a bit, okay? No. Oh, there's that, okay. Okay, well, I can't get you at all. So, okay, I think we just need to do this a little differently. Because the arrows just come off of you. All right, so this is the part where we kind of have to use our little thinking brain. You were real low to the ground, ma'am. Because I have one more slow fall and I don't want to waste it. I want to not waste it. Okay. But it seems like the best thing to do is if I do go up the staircase, if I can even walk up a staircase. Oh wait, you come up the staircase too. Oh wait, hang on. Oh no, actually that works though. Okay, just keep this, keep my feather fall on. All right, so that's the best bet. So if I just get in this tower, ooh, owie.
So this kind of gives me a little platform to hit her. I don't want to get hit by her. Okay, wait till she comes back. So low, it's a little scary. Alright, are you gonna perch soon? I'd love it if you'd perch. Hello, my dear. I'm sorry I have to keep hurting you. I know you don't like it, okay? I understand. Feels a little weird. But this is what must be done. You do have a really pretty place, though, I will say. Oh, lady. Lady. Where'd you go? <gasps> okay, okay. Alright, she's flying again. doing this. We've got this, guys. We're doing it, slowly but surely. We're doing it. We're getting her done. Okay, we're doing it. Let's see if I can do this. Whew! Nope. Okay, we're doing it. Okay, we're, we're half ways. This does take a bit, okay? We're, we're exploring new modded places. Okay, this does take a bit. So this is gonna be annoying. I th Are you gonna perch soon? I would love it if you'd perch soon. That would be super, super helpful. Just would love it so, so much. Alright, alright. We're coming down here. Alright. Here we go. We figured it out. You just gotta get under the bell, but you have to make sure... You're in a good spot. Oh, okay. What's nice is she can't exactly like yeet me because I'm like stuck in somewhere, right? Okay, that worked really well. I strength is so helpful. Okay, yep, and that's our cue to move. <laughs> Don't want any of the the goop. We got it! We got it! We got it! Look at that! We got it! Oh my goodness! And there's our end gateway! Oh my gosh, we did it, guys! We did it! That took us a while, but we did get the dragon! Now we can get all the wonderful XP! Now we've got all these bottles, so real quick, I want to see if I can get... Oh! Okay, the stairs, the stairs are gone. Let's see if we can get some of the dragon's breath real quick, okay? Now that we're a little safer, is it all gone? I think it's all gone at this point. <gasps> okay, but look at this! We can get all of our XP. Well guys, we did it! I'm sure that was very loud for your ears, so I do apologize for that. But we did it! We're getting... Oh, look at all these XP pieces. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. I didn't even use any of the other little, like, blue things like I have. But look at this. We've just got all this XP on the ground. We've got the egg. Ooh, that feels good. That was scary, you know, being at the end of my uh, slow fall. I was a little bit nervous for that. Oh, we got 77. <gasps> Wait, I got dragon scales. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, dragon loot. Let's look at that. 
Dragon loot. Whoa, we can make boots. Okay, we have to use netherite. But look at this. We can make like... <gasps> Ooh, we can have like a winged dragon. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Dragon scale. That's so cool. But we need netherite. But we've got dragon scales. Ah, oh, that's a, such a fun little modded feature. I love that. My goodness, that's so cool. Okay. Ah, we can compose ourselves a little bit, guys. How exciting. We can just be a little bit more composed. Ooh, okay. We, we've done it. We're, we're good. Now, I don't want to fall in. And I don't want the egg falling in either. I'm not ready to go back. Because I want the dragon egg. Because once we have this, we can make a fun little build. Okay. Now, do we go like, boop? I think it went this way. The particles trailed off this way. Does that mean that they follow that? Or... <laughs> Hello, little egg. I'm playing hide and seek with an egg. I don't know how to feel about this. Hi, hello, egg. Okay, we're gonna freak it. Where did this little egg go? I feel like it could literally go anywhere. Like, I really hope it didn't go up on one of these towers. That's the main thing I would be concerned about. But look at this, guys. This is so cool. Like, we... We successfully defeated the dragon in modded. And this place is the coolest. Literally so, so cool. Uh, just, uh... <laughs> gotta find where the egg went. <laughs> Just, yep, don't know where the egg went at all. Oh, it's right there. Okay. That, this isn't so bad. I was like, hello, buddy, what are you going to do? Okay, ready? <gasps> the next generation. Yay. Oh my gosh. We're holding the dragon egg, and because we have these dragon scales, I bet if we were to summon the dragon again, we could end up getting a full set of this stuff. It does look pretty cool. It also does kind of seem like maybe for getting these dragon armor pieces and like tools, we might need to actually make this dragon anvil which means we need some netherite upgrades, which means um, a lot more trips to the nether than I would probably like or hope or any of that. But we'll put the dragon scales and the goodies all away. Next time, we're going through the portal here. We're going through the end gateway, and in the next one, we're gonna go exploring the end because I want some wings. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoyed this long play and seeing me defeat the dragon, don't forget to leave a like, and I hope you have a wonderful day.